Okay. Teacher, you can commence with your session. Thank you. Good morning, guys. I hope you're all well. Welcome to today's lesson. Let's have a look. Right. At the end of the lesson, will you see how many questions you have in the afternoon to the five You will know how to approach paper one, section C, question five. Warm is sin in the leidende form to write. How to write a sentence in the passive voice. In warm port infinitive sin to benade. How to approach short infinitive sentences. Right, but before we go to that, yesterday I gave you two sentences to attempt after I explain the indirect rede. So let's just quickly have a look at those two sentences. Right, I can just say, skryf the understande twee sinne in die indirecte rede. Jeremy antwoord, ek help jou dagelijks in die huis, en Jeremy se maas sê, jy maak my baie kwaad. Goed, het ek gesê, een paar vinnige stappe, om sinne na die indirecte rede te verander. I gave you a few quick steps to change sentences from direct speech into indirect speech. Okay, so I can say step in your middle verb word on a strip. So if we look at sentence one, Jeremy answered a help your dog looks in the eye. So my verb is help. Did I can say step two? Trak a circle om enige voornaam woord wat verander moet word. Then I said, please put a circle around any pronoun that has to change. In hierdie sin, in this specific sentence, it is the ek and the jou. Dan het ek gesê, kyk na die type sin. You had to look at the type of sentence. You had to determine what type of sentence it is. In hierdie geval is dit a stelsin. It is a statement. We've got the word dat. Okay, that we're going to use to join the two sentences. So if we look at sentence one, let's go to the answer. Right, I was going to say Jeremy answered. We're putting down the word dat because it's a statement to join our introductory sentence with the sentence in direct speech. Remember, dat is a group three conjunction. So our verb is going to have to move to the end and I must remember to change my pronoun. Now, Jeremy, the act is speaking to his mother. So it does hi, or dachlet, and the eyes help. Okay, if we go to the second sentence, Jeremy Samar say, Yay mark my bio quad. First step, look for the verb. So that this mark. Second step, circle any pronouns that are going to have to change. Remember I said you look for at, my, jy, and jou. Good, so now we can weer, it is a stelsin. This is a statement. But now since Jeremy Samar say, we use that to join the introductory sentence with the direct speech. I need to remember to change my pronouns. That I are by a quad in my verbet skyt na die einde mark. Right, so that was just a quick recap on what we did yesterday. Then yesterday I said um, we were going to have a look at Leiden the Forum and do this in detail. Now, I know late in the forum, sometimes you find quite difficult, but let's have a look. There are also steps in the late in the forum. And once you grasp all these language steps, it would be so much easier to approach um, section C of paper one. So, it is like you say, skryf die frase, skryf die sin oor in die late in the forum. Jou pa sal jou vanaan vast. 
begins to a jy. Kijk, so ek word een few steps. Die eerste een is, verdeel jy het sin in stompies. You are going to take the given sentence and you are going to put it in stompies. Right, then once we have um, done that, right, dan gaan jy die tydsvorm van die sin bepaal. You are going to determine the tense of the sentence. Right, you're going to ask yourself, is dit teenwoordige tyd present tense? Is dit verlede tyd past tense? Of is dit a tekomende tyd sin? Or is it a future tense sentence? En dan wil ek hier moet jy die reel toepas. Then I'm going to ask you to apply the rule. Now I teach this a little bit differently and I'm going to explain the rule to you. Maybe you find it easier than just studying object plus or plus however, but let's have a look. Okay, so the first thing you do is you take your word stompy and you write it in a V form. So you start with the S T O M P I. Okay? You're going to put hand the verb here. Okay, so this makes it a bit easier. So before you do anything, you take the word stompy and you write it in a V form. Okay, now let's have a look at the rule, sub three. The rule for Leiden the Forum says you are to start with the object. Next, after you have determined if your sentence is in the present tense, or if it is in the past tense, or if it is in the future tense, your next step, now you'll see I've numbered them there, your next step would be to put down a verb. So if the sentence given to you was written in the present tense, you would write down the word for. If the sentence given to you was written in the past tense, you are going to use the word if. And if the sentence, like the one we have seen in our example sentence, is written in the future tense, you are going to put down the word soul or if they have used any of the other auxiliary verbs, you will then put down moot and can. Okay, but now our sentence given has a soul. Our next step is to have a look if the sentence has a time word in it. Okay, it doesn't have to have the time word. That's why I've put time in brackets. Your next step, have a look. If there's manner in the sentence, this is also optional. You don't have to have manner in a sentence. Therefore, it's also in the bracket. Next step. Then you have to put the word Dieu. Then, step six. I put or write down my subject. Now, sometimes when you are I'm putting your sentence into stompy. You have sections starting with per, on, and me. I write a brief per my ma, or on my ma, or I feel make my booty. As soon as you have um, parts that start with per, on, or me, that will come here in step seven. The next thing you have a look, do we have place? It's also optional, therefore I put place in brackets. Now, once I have written all of this down, I need to add a g to my verb given. Right? And if my sentence is in the future tense, I will add word at the end. And lastly, if there is an infinitive, it will go at the end. Okay, so you're going to write down stompy like this. 
you're going to make sure your arrows follow one another like I've done and then you must remember that if it's your sentence given is in the present tense, you're going to use vor. If it's in the past tense, is. And if it's in the future tense, sal. Remember the dear and remember to add ke to the verb. Now, there's two other things I want you to take note of. As daar nie voorwerp in a sin is nie, begin jy sin met daar. If you have now divided your sentence into stompie, and there is no object. Then you will start your sentence with dar. Do not start your sentence with time, manner, or place. You are going to start your sentence with dar. As your onderwaar subject, a persoonlijke voornaam woord is, verander dit in die leidende vorm. If your subject is one of your singular pronouns, ek, jy, sy, hy, then it's going to change in the light in the forum. It is going to become dear my, if I use ek, the jy is going to become dear jou, sy is going to become dear haar, and hy is going to become dear Okay, this is also an important note to remember. Right, so let's have a look at the given sentence um, that was given to you, and then we are going to rewrite it using these steps. So come on, strike. Good, so as it now, strike is in an enlightened forum, and as also strike said it, your far is our subject. I'm doing my step one. I'm putting my sentence into Stompy. Sal is verb one. Jou is the object. Fanon is time. And look, it's in an odd place. It's not in front of the object, like it usually is. And then fat, fat. Okay, that's our verb two. They have now made it easier. They have already identified the um, object for you. The only thing that you might find confusing is the fact that they are asking you to start with yay. Now, remember in my previous slide, I said that your personal um, pronoun forever, your personal pronouns change when you are writing in the um, Light in the forum. So the yo and the yay is the same. The yay is now just standing first in the sentence. So yo parcel, yo for non fat, fat. My next step was let's have a look at the tense of the sentence. Idi siniki, sal, fat, fat. This is to women decide. Okay. So now, panels, and we'll pass the real to. We're now going to apply the rule. That I've given you. So we're going to step one, start with the object, yay. Step two, we have a look what tense it is, and then we write down the verb for that given tense. Did it get it? Sol. Then we have a look, is there time? In this sentence, there was a time word, so then we write down the noun. We have a look. Do I have manner? No, the sentence did not have manner. Step five. I write down the word. Dieu. Step six. I write down my subject. Right, sorry. I write down my subject. Okay. Step seven. I look. If there's anything starting in my sentence with per on me, there's nothing in my sentence starting with that. Right, I have a look. Step eight, if there's something to do with place, near, you saw it's me plus me, then I add first to the verb. But be careful, the verb. Given you is one of those flip verbs, a dealty verb, a skybara verb, 
Um, it's one of those verbs in the present tense it splits up and in the past tense and in the future tense it comes together. So the present tense of this would be your pa, pat, your finan, pat. So if a verb can split up, then the g is going to go to the middle. Okay, so fat for fat, and I have to remember that I need to add the word at the end, okay, because it's in the future tense. And then my last step, I check if my sentence has an infinitive. In this case, it doesn't have an infinitive. Therefore, I add just word at the end. So, come on, skate beer. Jij zal vanaan deur jou pa vast gevat word. Okay, so that is um, our Leiden de Forum sentence. The rule is extremely important to know. And in all honesty, you can actually just write down your stompie in a V like I have um, shown you. And then just remember where the arrows go. They follow one another. And then remember what verb to use for what tense. Um, right. Is there any questions relating to Leiden de Forum at this stage? Is there anyone that would like to ask me a question? You can raise your hand. I will see if I can answer. Otherwise, I'm going to go to question five of um, of Paper one. Any questions? Okay, almost one answer. Right, let's continue. Okay, so now we have managed to go through the advertisement on Tuesday. We have now realized a lot of the question, half of the question is based on the interpretation of the advertisement. Yesterday we looked at the interpretation of the um, cartoon. We also saw that half of the cartoon marks is based on the interpretation of the cartoon. Now in question five, we are going to have a look at the article in French, the article and picture. Okay, so question five from the 20 mark, it consists out of 14 marks based on the article and six marks based on the picture. Right, now we said it, six F article. Text is the article. The taal vraag wat volg is op die tijdskrif artikel gebaseer. Voer die instructie by elke vraag uit. Okay. So the language question that are following is based on this newspaper article. But look carefully at the instruction. Nowhere as it said that you have to read through this article. Okay, if you are a slow reader, right, do not read through this article. Okay, because the sentence that they want you to change will be given to you. Often, even though not in this paper, they sometimes have the question number somewhere embedded in the sentence. But do not Waste your time reading this article if you are pressed for time. Okay, rather spend that time on your comprehension test and on your summary. Okay, so yes, um, I, at the first lesson I said, we always try and start with section C. Okay, so now it says, for the instruction, you can say that, for the instruction for Alpha Frog I. You have to follow the instructions. Now, what I would do is I would look at the title. Schoen Phyllis Blicker is next to the stuff. Okay. And I would look 
at the picture if they have given a picture, just to get an idea of what the article is about. So schoon, vullislikke, clean, dusten, is net die eerste stap, is only the first step. Okay, so on sit ye, seven, ramalaksi, 17, maak vullislikke schoon, omdat hy nog altyd een sakeman wil wees, en sy leese is, a man met evers begin. Okay, so I'm just reading the introductory sentence. Seven Ramalaksi, he's 17 years old. He seen Dustin because he's always wanted to be a businessman. And he lives by the following motto, Lyose, a man met evers begin. You have to be able to start somewhere. Okay, en dan vertel hier die hele artikel nou vir ons die story van Seven en hoe hy sy bezigheid begin het. So this whole article now tells us the story about Seven and how he started his um, business. Okay, but you do not have to read at all through the article if you are answering question 5. Um, Unless you do have time. Some people finish their paper within an hour and a half, then you can read through it. But if you are one of those people that can't even manage to um, finish the comprehension in 50 minutes, rather use get time where you possibly can. And in this case, it will be not to read the article. So it's almost okay. Now we'll have to be quick now the port infinity. I want to have a look at the infinitive. Good. So once again, like I've now explained more than once over the past three days, is we always have to identify the verb. Okay, so come on, skate weer naar die sin. A man moet evers begin. Okay, so we have a moot. And we have begin. Okay, so we have two verbs here. Now they tell you how to start. Okay, they tell you begin to start like this. A main word. Now we get two types of short infinitive um, sentences that they often ask. They often ask the word. And the other one they like asking is boof. Okay. Boof is not, it works exactly the same. You just have to remember to add the new. So I can say, stop in, identifier your werkwoord or werkwoord. You have to identify your verb. Now, if you get a sentence with an auxiliary verb in it, a moot of a soul of a will of a can, it's actually a nice one to get. It is actually the best one to get if they ask you to write infinite because my second verb is already in the right position. So step three is the act, the yidi sinity. As the sin, the verb word, moote, track a kruistardie. So if the sentence has a mood, you are going to cross out the mood. You're going to cross the track. Because you can't have an auxiliary verb and a bewit in the same sentence. That doesn't um, work at all. Okay, so you're going to do mood, do it track. And in the place of mood, the bewerp is standing. And then the last step is plus a perfect verb too. The last step then is to put the ter in front of the verb too. And only a ter. Actually, it's on the own. Very important. Sinner met the word cry me a omni. Okay, the biggest mistake we come across when marking a question that you have to write in the short infinitive is that you are still adding an on because you see infinitive 
and you immediately go back to your basic stompy um, that you learned in primary school, the infinitive is also and the verb. Okay, my fourth infinitive, the short infinitive, and the specific fourth infinitive, the short infinitive, does not have a or. Okay, it is a silly mistake to make because it's often the only mistake you've made. You've added the om in there. Okay, remember, no om when we are busy with the words and using sentences. Okay, so if I now follow my steps and I look at this given sentence, dancing means a mean. I've identified my verbs with the gen. I cross out my mood. And I'm going to add my se in front of the verb, a means the word, ivers, se, begin. Okay, so this is a makkelijke sinnetje. It's actually um, easy to do a sentence in the short infinitive. If they've asked you to write it, starting with a means roof, right, then you must just remember to add the knee. A main roof knee. Ivers the begin knee. Okay, so if it was a sentence that had a roof, it works exactly the same. You just remember to add the knee. Okay, I just want to mention something else. If the sentence does not have an auxiliary verb, okay, then step two will not apply. If the sentence was just a main begin ivers, right? Then I'm still going to identify my verb, which is going to be begin, but then I need to know to move my verb to the end of the sentence and add it first. So if, yeah, it wasn't a mood, with only begin, my answer would still be the same. A main for word ivers the begin. So I will move my verb to the end and add the te. And um, that's why I said it's actually nice if you do get a sentence with an auxiliary verb because then the verb um, is already in the right position. Okay, so I do find that these ones where um, there are auxiliary verbs in it, you often get more marks. Just extremely important, and I know I am repeating myself, do not put the all at all in the sentence. You will not get marked, and that is your biggest, biggest um, mistake. Right. Um, as I go with time, I'm, I've, I've actually written down some... Well, not the Gideon, this is the next one. 5.2 says, schrijf die onderwerp van die sin neer, schrijf slaaf die vraag nummer en die antwoord neer. Now, I've spoken more than once about only writing down the question number and the answer. I'm saying this again today. Do not write down the whole sentence and then underline the answer. Just write down the answer, please. So now I've seen Yele Yiri Werki. Yele seen on their work. And you think, what are they asking? Krijgti on their work. Van die sin nie. Okay, so you're not sure what they're asking? So now the on their work is your subject. But your voor work is your object. Okay. But now they ask you, they ask you this. Right? Because they know that you are going to think on and about oh, this object. And then you're going to write down the wrong thing in your um in your exam paper. So as soon as they strive to on they want the subject of the sentence. Right. A four verb is your object. Okay, so don't get confused. Um because it does happen. So as I say, the Sinniki Kai, the Dinner van Melvin, Mark Willicki, Philip Blicker Schoen. Okay, so what is 
the owner var and you need to fill it. So if I have a look, first try and identify your verb because it just makes it easier. Put a mark, my verb, it will highlight it. My verb is mark. Put a noun, schoen, as part of the verb. Okay. So now I'm left with two with two things. Okay, because the Lord met the Tina van Malve and Billy Okay, now that we know our all of us is our subject, we now look at the start of the sentence. And in this case, the Tina van Malve, okay, you can write down two answers and it will get you the mark. You can write down the Tina as an answer, and you would have gotten the mark of this teenager. Or if you wrote down the Tiner van Malvern, if you wrote down all of that, you would have also gotten the mark. Okay, it depends. If you saw that as place, that was fine. However, the whole thing can also be seen as your underbar. Okay, so yes. Sorry, 15 minutes to end of session. Thank you. This um, is an easy mark to get as long as you remember that your underbar is your subject and that it is not your object. Okay, this is vocab related um, work. But so now that you a portion, I've written down um, four sentences that I would like you to try for um, tomorrow's lesson as we start. So I can just say, Krij the volgende twee sinne in die leidende vorm. The first thing I would like you to do is to attempt to write the two sentences that I have given you into the passive voice. Okay. I could not feel like I said, well, me and I didn't tell you what to start with. I was a little bit meaner than um, how it's been put out in the um, question paper. But it's okay, it's for your opening. It's good practice. So come on, try. The first thing is, you have to try to find the way where you So that's the first one. Okay, so remember, divide your sentence into if you're going to attempt this, check the tense of the sentence as well as then applying the rule. Good. And then, so you can see here, she back to say, finish it darkly. By a course, once again, um, divide your sentence into something, check the tense, and then. Once you've done that, please um, apply the rule. And then it that you saw, it say, schrijf die onderstaande twee sinne oor in die fourth infinitive. Okay, I would like you to write it in the short infinite term, like I explained in today's lesson. And this thing you get, die meisie moet haar ma in die huis help. I've told, instructed you how to start, but begin to be mighty aware. Okay, so follow the steps once again. Identify the verb. If there's an auxiliary verb, cross it out. Remember to add it per. Remember, no or at all. But and then it's like no question you can read, and I can say, Die sien eet elke dag al die brood op. Okay, and I want you to start with die sien beweer. Okay, this one does not have an auxiliary verb. I did that on um, purpose. Raak, so kom ons kyk. Verder, wat het ons nou vandag geleer? What did we learn from today's lesson? Die volgende. Die leidende vorm, stap 1, moet ons die sin in stompie verdeel. 
Okay, we have to divide our sentence into something. Otherwise, it is extremely difficult to attempt a laden before him sentence. Right, you can't just start and just decide you don't know where everything is. You need to divide it into stompy, substuia, bapaldi sense, funny sense. Very important to determine the tense. Otherwise, you don't know if you have to use vor as or sal. Okay, that is extremely important. Then substuia. Pass the real to apply the rule like I've given you. Write stompy in a V and go from there. See if that way of doing a light in the bottom sentence works for you. Right. The next thing that we looked at was the fourth infinity, the short infinitive, and I said sub ian on a slippery verb word. Once again, we underline the verb. Sub tuia, it akhitse holdi mutai. You have to take out your auxiliary verb because the auxiliary verb is replaced by the bewerd or the rufni. But damut on som taum di set to skype, query verb word, you have to remember the set in baya belangre. And how the fourth infinity, krai ni ka omni, or si aprostic a. Um, big today. You do not get a um at all. Okay, and then the other thing that we did have a look at was you have to remember that under verb is your subject, not your object. Your under verb is your subject. Put Barna van ons moerigheid. Okay, are there any questions? Is there anyone that would like to ask me a question relating to the word? Um, you can show me your hand. Are you all fine for today? Right, is there anyone that would like to ask me something? Good, so come on, come further. Come further. Now, more as us beer less, it will like the default in the cake. Tomorrow, if we um, have our lesson at eight, also, so steep to be a stuff with craft pipe and oxygen here. We are still busy with question five of section C. And my old one specific cake not cook forever. I've now been trying to get to it every single lesson, but um, we will run out of time if I do too many language um, revision. But I would like to have a look at conjunction, how to join sentences with conjunction, and then also how to start with a group three conjunction. Okay, it's not that difficult, but it does seem to cause um, problems. Dan will I graag kijk naar die negatief. I would like to look at the negative, how to write a sentence um, in the negative, and then something that um, Matrix struggle with, I think for grade 11s as well, but Matrix specifically, um, is deal with it. But those are your past and present participles. But as I said, the gebreekte fenster of a gebroeke hart, um, that seems to cause a lot of um, problems. So I would like to spend some time on that as well. We will recap um, the light in the forum at the start of the lesson and we will look at direct and indirect speech again um, because we there are questions in question five relating to some of the language that I have already went through. Right, then um, I will see you tomorrow. Please follow us on our social media at Lockdown in School, Sattle Foundation, STEM Champion, Africa Team Geek, hey, the Department of Education South Africa, and follow us on YouTube. Right, I will then see you tomorrow at tomorrow's lesson. I can't wait. Hope this lesson has been worthwhile. And see you next Bye.
Okay. 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 Okay.